Hi gang, FE review problem, economics, here we go. Student needs $8,000 a year for college, must have been a long time ago, <laughs> for four years. Her father invests $12,000 at 8% when she was born. If, if, if she withdraws $8,000 at her 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th birthdays, how much will she have left after her 21st birthday? All right, which one of these is it? Press pause, ready, set, go. Already back. Which one'd you get? Man, let's go. Here we go. Let's put that money in the bank and let's see what happens to it, okay? Here we go. F is equal to present value $8,000. Didn't it? Yes, $8,000. No, $12,000. What are you doing at $8,000? He invested 12, didn't he? Okay. For how long? Well, we, let's put it in there for the whole thing. 21 years, okay? That would be F given P 8% 21 years. Now, from that, that's going to give me a total future amount of that money, right? But from that total future amount, I've got to subtract this payment, that payment, that payment, that payment, plus the interest that goes along with it. That payment is how many years of interest worth, right? F four, isn't it? And then three, and then two, and then one, right? So minus 8,000 F given P, 8% for four years, minus 8,000. F given P, 8% for three years, minus 8,000. F given P, 8% for two years, and one more. Okay. Now, is there a different way to work it? Could you use could you use like gradient or something or an A? Could you use A, annuity? Yes, I think you could use the annuity. But this is the way that came into my head, so this is the way I'm working it, okay? This is 1.08. The rest of these, I'm going to use my table in my book, my 8% tax tables. Here we go. Where are we? Here we go, interest rate tables. F given P column, where is that? Right here. And I need the, what, the 4, 1.3605. Whoop. I need, well, I need that one, don't I? I need, that's the 21, isn't it? F given P for 21 is 5.0338. Uh, for three years, F given P is 1.2597. And for the last one, it's 1.1664. Okay, man, I think we got it licked now, don't we? All right, here we go. On 12,000 times 5.0338 minus 8,000 times 1.3605 minus 8,000 times 1.2597 minus 8,000 times 1.1664 minus, one more, 8,000 times 1.08 equals, drum roll please, you now have, you now have $21,472.80. Okay, what do we got over here? 21, give me some, oh baby, right there. Okay, answer D. All right, that helped. See you on the next video.